Okay, if you're watching this video, it's because you have done exactly what it says not to do on the displaylink.com website and by extension also the ProPresenter website from Renewed Vision, which is you've upgraded from uh, macOS 10.13.3 to 10.13.4, which normally these dot releases don't really do a whole lot. There's security stuff, etc. In this case, it made it so that the display link USB adapters do not work. So let me guide you through the steps on how to fix this. And I'm doing this with you, so we're going to see if this works. I have already downloaded this uh, driver, which was uh, from May 16th. As I'm recording this, it's May 20th, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, beta 4, that's important, downloaded it. Um, first, I followed these uh, directions up here, and I uninstalled this um, driver. And then I downloaded the new driver here, installed it, restarted it, and now we're going to go through these directions um, which you can get to by clicking this please see our article link so I'm going to click that and this is where it says hey uninstall the driver reboot install the new driver restart login yeah yeah I did that already and next make sure mirroring options in the menu bar when available is checked in display preferences so uh, we I keep uh, system preferences down here in my dock, but you can also get it up here. I go to Apple menu and then system preferences. So I was playing with the sound earlier. So first thing we're going to do, go to displays. Okay, this is the checkbox down here. Show mirroring options in the menu bar when available. Okay, so mine is checked. Cool. Next step, we're going to click here and then go to security and privacy and then accessibility and look display user agent we want to check that uh, first it's going to ask me to uh, authenticate that I am a user that's allowed to do this so uh, if that's locked click it put in your username and password assuming you're an administrator if not get the administrator on your computer to do it now I can check that and um, go back here okay let's see what the next step is set the dialog that opens to allow to control your computer connect your display link device okay I'm not seeing this up here uh, but I've got a few of those so let me see nope still not there but my display link device is already connected I'm gonna unconnect it and reconnect it and see if that affects it Ah, looks like something's happening. Okay, so now I can click here. Oh, look, I've got some different choices. Now I'm going to use Use as Separate Display. When I do that, it has, in fact, shown up. Now, you can't see it, um, but let's go into Displays here and Arrangement. And this is this one. This is actually my display link. I'm going to move that over because it lives to the right here. And this is my main output. So I'm actually on a uh, 2017 MacBook Pro that has two outputs, but I have this available. I'm going to do this and I'm going to gather windows. And... Let's click on scaled, and I want that to be 720p. So, okay, that's better. 720p, 
So there we go. Uh, that apparently works. And uh, let's just test it in ProPresenter just to make sure. I expect that it will. This is a bit of a hack, a bit of a workaround. Um, but let's see what happens when I do this and go into here, preferences, display, let's move the stage display here and let's enable stage display. Oops. And you can't see it, but it did in fact work. Uh, my resolution is a little wonky, but it is in fact working. So this isn't the normal way you do it. It's a bit of a hack, a bit of a workaround, but it looks like it might just get you through. Uh, your resolution might look a little wonky. I don't know how yours is, but mine, it's super letterbox, so I'm missing a lot of screen real estate top and bottom, but this is better than nothing. So that's the workaround to get past the problem with Display Link USB adapters in um, macOS 10.13.4.